Join our hosts as they check out the Invincible 39 Open, an offshore fishing powerhouse designed to meet the rigorous demands of the most dedicated blue water anglers. The Invincible 39 Open has an overall length of 39 feet 2 inches, a beam of 11 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 1800. Engineered to conquer virtually any blue water mission, she has a draft of 24 inches, a dead rise of 24.5 degrees, a weight of 12,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 540 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, you're in for a treat today. We've been waiting for this for a long time. We're finally getting to test an invincible boat, and we're on the 39. This boat is their most popular selling model, and you're gonna find out why today. Well, I can already tell why it's so popular. First off, you guys are gonna be so happy with all the fishing features. I'm seeing a lot of comfort features in this as well. This is actually my very first time ever stepping on an invincible boat. So I can't wait to see what this boat has to offer today. The 39 Invincible is set up to do one thing at the highest possible level. Just like the frigate bird that serves as her logo, she's an apex blue water predator with no corner of the offshore fishing world off limits to her. This boat powered by triple 400 Mercury engines was fast and the ride was assertive. The 39 handled the ocean so well it left me wishing the wind would puff up and the seas would continue to build so I could press this boat to the edge of its limits, but despite my best efforts, I couldn't make her pound or get anyone on board wet. The 39 Open is rated for a maximum of 1800 horsepower, although I can't imagine why I'd ever need so much power since 1200 left me not wanting for any more throttle whatsoever. Oh, the lounge seat. Yes, it was extremely comfortable, but let's talk about that underneath storage. <laughs> there was a removable divider, actually, two dividers, which had multiple compartments now. Today, I had not one, but two Yeti coolers in there and still had plenty of room for all my bags. You have two open storage compartments under the gunnel on your port and starboard sides. Both sides had washdowns, which is great for cleanup after fighting a fish. And you were able to stow your dock lines right there in that other compartment. Inside the console, you had everything you needed Plenty of standing room, a porcelain head, a sink, and plenty of room for more storage. Another hidden feature were the jump seats in the stern. I seriously did not even know they were there. Normally, you would have to pull a handle out of the seat, but these were hidden so well behind the combing bolsters, it blended perfectly. The 39 Open is built to be used as a platform for hardcore fishing in extreme conditions. The cockpit layout is built around an all-weather console and hardtop enclosure. This provides protection from the elements behind a three-sided glass weather barrier built within a contoured pipework design that looks very stylish while tightening up the workspace around the console exterior. The helm face offered plenty of space for large dual-screen multifunction units along with instrumentation. The dash panel was oriented at a height and angle that allowed you to keep your eyes on the approaching water and with just a glance to view all of your dash electronics. Seating behind the console is wide enough for three with the helm in the center position. Insulated fish storage is located in four places on board, both forward and aft for convenience and balance. In the bow, there's a very large fish hole below deck situated at the forefoot of the oversized double sun line. The ultra competitive South Florida Sailfish Circuit is all about good live bait. And with an advanced system including three pressurized wells with high velocity pumps, you can keep enough bait for the hottest bite you'll ever find. Imagine over 50 rod holders and enough tackle storage to open your own floating tackle shop. If you need it, you can find it stored away on the Invincible 39. Okay guys, the marine forecast was wrong today. Shocker, right? <laughs> I thought it was going to be flat seas. It was not. It was rough. Going out that inlet though, the boat didn't know it was rough because I never felt that big boom. You know when you're going down on a wave in the boat and everything hurts? Not today. Smooth sailing. I'm glad you feel that way, Lori. In fact, I was pleasantly surprised to see those white caps breaking across the inlet today because I know how this boat runs. And you know what, Rick? There's a lot of things that we take away from these boats. I mean, fishing boats, there's always something you remember about a particular boat, how it fishes, how it rides, how it's laid out. 
And every time I've been on an Invincible, the thing that I take away from it is the ride. And man, I want to tell you what, I've never had more fun running a boat than I did today on this one. Guys, you're right. We may have known it was rough today, but nobody told the boat. That's for darn sure. I tell you what Invincible has. For a boat, they have the perfect logo. Think about it. This boat, didn't you just feel like you were a level above? The Frigate Bird, or Man of War Bird, is their logo. The Apex Predator, we're standing on it.